Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be going over my weighted jungle cup matches. And for those of you who don't know, the Pokemon allowed in the jungle cup are grass, bug, electric, and normal type Pokemon. Uh, with Tropius and the Burmy family being banned. Uh, with that, let's get to the matches. So my team here on the left consists of Vigoroth, Venusaur, uh, Fortress, Lantern, Nocturne, and Vespaqueen, and my opponent, Master Baller. His team is Heracross, Zapdos, Wigglytuff, Lopunny, Fortress, and Venusaur. Uh, and as you saw, I started with a uh, Fortress into his Heracross, which favors Heracross, but he switched out into Lopunny. Uh, and the only thing I know about Lopunny is that she's a normal type, so I decided to bring in Vigoroth for the super effective counter damage. And as you see there, I'm able to, able to take Lopunny down. He brings back out his Heracross, which is really good against Vigoroth. I'm able to get a Body Slam right there, he doesn't shield it. So Heracross still takes a lot of damage, uh, neutral damage, from the Body Slams. Uh, he shields that second one, and he comes in with an Earthquake. I decide I don't want to use any shields here. I think Vigoroth's going to go down in one or two hits anyways, even if I uh, do block that. We get a little bit of mutual lag there. Um, and my Noctowl takes out his Heracross. And his last Pokemon is Venusaur, which Noctowl is also good against. As you see, we get a Sky Attack off there, and it kills the Venusaur. So game two, I decided I'm going to start the same. I'm going to bring out uh, Fortress. He starts Lopunny. And we're just charging up to that Heavy Slam. We're going to throw it out. And he does not shield. Uh, I bring out Vigoroth for the same reasons I did in game 1. I think that he's pretty good against normal types, and we saw that uh, the Lopunny had a Fire Punch in the previous game, and we wanted to make sure to get our Fortress out of there before he took super effective damage uh, from that Steel Bug type. I think it's 4 times damage. Uh, we luckily get our Body Slam off with just a sliver of health there, so we take a shield from Heracross right before going down. We're going to bring out Noctile, Noctowl. Uh, a little bit of lag there again. Every time I switch into Noctile, Noctowl. And he brought Fortri uh, He brought Venusaur here again. I don't think he wanted to bring this one out since it's super effective, but I think that low punny is also pretty low in the back. Uh, and we get off our Sky Attack here, and that's round one. Oh, no, he still had the Venusaur. <laughs> So he brings Venusaur back out and we are just going to be doing our auto attacks and we throw out a sky attack here to hopefully end the round. So our next opponent is going to be Arctic89. He is the uh, highest place uh, challenger on the, this community's leaderboard, Northwest Raiders. And he has a bit of a unique lineup uh, with Scizor, Alone Graveler, Noctowl, Lantern, Vigoroth, and Venusaur. Uh, we start off with Lantern here into his Vigoroth. Uh, not the best matchup for Lantern. Lantern actually loses this matchup, but we decide we want to just try to get uh, his Vigoroth to use a shield here, uh, which we do before giving him switch advantage. We switch into Vespaquin, and he switches into that alone Graveler, which will destroy Vespaquin with his auto attacks. Uh, we actually get to two X Scissors here, which is pretty good for us. Uh, we get him really low, but not quite enough. Get him down to one sliver. We're going to wait out the clock here and see if we can try to get a water gun off before he gets his uh, charge move off, which we surprisingly do. Uh, that's That was a huge turning point in the match here since he had switch advantage. Uh, we're going to shield his body slam and just try to get this uh, vigor out down as low as possible. Comes with them with a body slam here and kills off our uh, lantern. And we bring out our last Pokemon, Noctowl, which is a neutral matchup for his Vigoroth. Uh, we get a lot of energy here to go in against his Noctowl. And we probably should have waited, try to piggyback off his Sky Attack since he's got one shield up on us there. Um, should have done it here again, but I see that I clicked it. Yeah, and he's going to shield that Sky Attack and just finish us off with his own Sky Attack. Uh, what I didn't mention was this is actually Game 2. I had won Game 1, but I didn't 
record the match, I guess? Or And I asked him if he had, and he said his had gotten corrupt. So this is game three here. We start Vespaquin into the Lowen Graveler. I had started Lantern every game before this, so I didn't think he would start that Graveler, and he does. He calls this on it. And uh, yeah, we swip it, We swap into our Lantern. We get half of that Lowen Graveler's health down, and then he swaps in with his Vigoroth, which is going to destroy us. We get one shield off of him with a with a Thunderbolt, and then we just decide we're going to let Lantern go. He did pretty good here. We have, so we have the shield advantage here, and we're going to want to come back in with that Vespaquin, since uh, she takes half damage from the counterattacks from Vigoroth. Uh, body Slams are still going to hurt here. We can take up to three. We use our X Scissor on this Vigoroth. He's pretty low here. We try to auto-attack him out, and we actually do. Surprising, and really good for us. Alright, so we're waiting for him to bring something else out. He brings back in the Alone Graveler. We get our Vesper Queen out of there. She's taking too much damage from him. And we want to preserve our Vigoroth as much as possible here, since our Vespa Coin is really low. We're going to need this one, this Pokemon, to be really high. Uh, he brings out the Noctowl, so we have a slightly uh, better matchup against Noctowl. And we just start spamming those Body Slams. Body Slam is such a fast charge move to get charged up. Uh, we're able to get two off. We just we're going to shield everything because if Noctowl ever gets to Vespa Coin, he's just going to do too much damage. Alright, uh, he shields and gets a wing attack off here. It's going to KO Figaroth, and we just are spamming our auto attack because we know we're going to need that X Scissor for the lone Graveler in the back. We actually get it off before he gets off the one auto attack, and we finish him off. What a crazy game. Alright, our uh, third match here is against Drew Zillakilla. He's got Heracross, Noctowl, Lantern, Vigoroth, a Lone Graveler, and Venusaur. We just start we decide Venusaur has a lot of good matchups against his team, so we start it, but unfortunately the one that, <laughs> that he has a really bad matchup against is Noctowl, so he gets the switch advantage on us here as we go into uh, Lantern and he comes in Vigoroth. Uh, Vigoroth's just going to come in and just start spamming those body slams. Even though Lantern has a lot of uh, HP, he doesn't charge his move up very fast, so these body slams are just going to be coming in, killing us. We do end up getting a Thunderbolt off here at the very end when he's got a sliver of health left. And he gets a shield, uh, two shields actually, out of Vigoroth, which is really good for us. We have a two shield advantage while we'll be down the Pokemon. Um, we can eat up this Body Slam on Venusaur. Venusaur is just going to try to get to that Frenzy Plant. He swaps out into Noctowl and we throw in the Sludge Bomb. Uh, before switching over to Vigoroth, but we do not actually get that switch off and he gets a sky attack, forcing a shield out of us. Uh, and then we'll switch out and try to farm this Noctowl down. Uh, we're going to want to preserve health here on Vigoroth, so we shield the sky attack and we're just going to auto him down, have a lot of energy coming into this next matchup. Uh, we're waiting for him to get through the switch clock and we're just going to body slam anything that comes out and it's the Vigoroth, which actually kills it. And his last Pokemon is Lantern, so we want to get off to that Bulldoze since it's super effective uh, against Lantern. Uh, deals 70% of his health, and we just try to get our auto attacks down. We get another Body Slam here. Like I said before, Lantern charges really slowly, and we take game one. All right, here in for game two. Um, we're checking out his team, thinking about what we really want to bring in versus him. I really want the Venusaur, but I was thinking about that Noctowl again, but we're just going to hope he doesn't start Noctowl again. Uh, we don't want to be down on the switch advantage. So he comes in Heracross, and even though Heracross is a bug Pokemon, which is good against Grass, since Heracross has counter, actually Venusaur wins this matchup. Uh, especially since uh, Heracross has such low health. Uh, so we switch out Venusaur, and I think I did this because I want to preserve Venusaur for the Lantern matchup, if there is one, which there might not be. Uh, he swaps out his Heracross since it's taking super effective damage from Noctowl and comes in with Vigoroth, which has a good matchup against Noctowl. 
uh, but we do have char stored energy, so we're able to get two sky attacks off here. And even though he shielded one, we still did about 70% of this uh, Vigoroth's health. But we're just going to let our Noctowl go. He's done a pretty good job here. And we're going to bring back out Venusaurus. It says a good matchup uh, versus Vigoroth. And I decided just want to farm energy off of him. So even though it's going to take a shield here, since we were already up two shields, we're going to farm that energy and have enough for either charge move, depending on what he brings in. He brings in the Noctowl, so we're going to Sludge Bomb it. It does about 40% of Noctowl's health. And then we're going to swap out into Lantern, since Lantern has a really good matchup. Uh, resists all flying attacks, so anything that Noctowl brings out, we're going to be able to resist it. Uh, he brings back in Heracross, but with us having a charge move, we're able to just delete him. Like I said before, Heracross really good against Vigoroth, but he is um, he doesn't have that much HP, so he does go down rather quickly. Uh, and we take this game and the match. Uh, so this is our last match, and it's versus our buddy Road Warrior 24. And if you notice, his team comp is pretty similar to ours, except he's got Wigglytuff. Uh, instead of Vespaquin, and this is actually game two. We won game one. Uh, neither of us had the recording, I guess. And we start off Fortress, the same as we did uh, round one, except he had started Wigglytuff in round one. This time he brought in Noctowl, which this comp that I created for this last game was weak against a uh, flying type, so our actual only flying counter is Vigoroth, which isn't really a counter, but he is better against Noctowl. Uh, he brings in Wigglytuff, we try to get the two body slams in a row off to cancel his auto attack and give us an advantage. He does shield one and he's going to be able to charm down our Vigoroth. Um, so we're going to want to bring in Fortress and farm up a little bit off of this uh, Wigglytuff since he resists all of Wigglytuff's movesets. Uh, we're just going to come in here, auto attack him down, get, get some energy for a heavy slam or an earthquake uh, depending on what he brings out. He brings back in Noctowl. In the back I have Venusaur, so what I decided was I'm going to use all of my resources on this Fortress since he's got a better matchup against Noctowl and just try to get this Noctowl out because he's going to give me problems. We get the shield off of him with our Heavy Slam. We, do, we use our second shield on his other wing sky attack. And we get to a second Heavy Slam uh, to bring this Noctowl down. And the last thing he's got in the back is Vigoroth, which Venusaur is good against, but Vigoroth does have an energy advantage here. So we're going to have to watch out for the second body slam as it will KO us. We do get to our Frenzy Plant in time, and we are able to destroy the Vigoroth. He showed me his screen afterwards, and he did have a charge move available, but he we ended up having CMP for that match. So we were able to 4-0 this tournament, and um, I want to say just on the picks that I had, four, we, we brought Fortress, and that was a decision um, maybe the day before. We had actually been practicing a lot with the low and Graveler, and uh, maybe try to do the double electric thing. But I figured, you know, this is the first tournament here since Wigglytuff is, uh, had got the new move of charm and we decided you know i think a lot of people are going to bring in wigglytuff and i want to have that fortress with the heavy slam and i just want to destroy the people bringing in wigglytuff um that's it for the video everyone thanks for listening and if you have any comments uh i did try to fix the audio this time i hope it all worked out uh but if you have anything to say just leave it below and i'll i'll read it and i'll comment and thanks for watching